So, after substrate, probably the most important aspect of the vivarium is the um, leaf litter. Uh, I'd say it's essential for all, all terrariums, all vivariums. Um, not only does it provide a uh, place for microorganisms to thrive, but it also just makes the tank aesthetically look very nice, very natural. Um, if you're kind of looking at your tank and wondering why it looks so empty and bare, the chances are probably it doesn't have leaf litter. So I've got a few different types here. Um, I've got four types of southern live oak leaves, and I've got one group of magnolia leaves here, so I'll talk about all of them. Um, leaf litter is not all the same. So in, the, in nature, you know, the environment is dynamic, right? So leaves are constantly falling, but they're also constantly being broken down and turned into, you know, various other compounds by microorganisms and stuff. And that also happens in the uh, vivarium, but at a sm somewhat slower rate. So you kind of have to uh, keep a few things in mind when you're choosing your leaf litter. Um, so I'm going to talk about the southern live oak first. Uh, that's a really common uh, type of tree that is used uh, for leaf litter. But it's really not all created the same. So this is these one, two, three, four groups right here is all southern live oak. And you can see there's a pretty, let me pull it away from this one. It's a pretty radical difference in um, how they look. So let's start with, uh, I guess, the worst ones. This is what I would call, like, like I don't know, C grade, mid-tier mid grade. This is like the most common live oak leaf litter you see. Um, let me see if I can get it to focus. You can see it's very dark, um, very, one second, let me get a light on. It's very, um, I'm sorry, not very dark, but it's tan. Sorry, I have dirty fingers. I was just messing with substrate. Um, it's kind of a dull brown. It's very thin, flexible. So this is, it's kind of dirty and drab. This is what I would call like C grade, uh, not the best. Here we have like B grade or like pretty good. Um, I would say that this is fairly nice leaf litter. It's a little bit thicker, but it's still got that uh, kind of like drab color to it. So, and you can see it's not as flexible. It's starting to crack when I bend it there. So this is pretty good, not the best though. Now here we're getting into some nice stuff here. This is what I would call like A grade. This is really, really nice leaf litter. Um, you can see it's, the leaf itself is thicker and it's dried, sort of curled in on itself. And it's also crunchier. It's thicker and crunchier and it kind of stands up on itself. So that's really nice stuff right here. That would be like what I try to go for all the time. Now this is like A plus. This is like creme de la creme leaf litter right here. Um, you could see not only is it thick and um, crunchy like the other ones, and it has that nice kind of those curled in leaves which make for more a more voluminous. Can't get it to focus here. Area, but it also has. Let me just go over here. It has this wonderful nice red color. These are a bit dirty. I hadn't washed them yet. I just collected all these. Look at this glorious color compared to that one right there. So that's really, really nice. That really will make the vivarium pop. And um, yeah, it's got all those other qualities of the A leaf litter. So this is what I can collect in just like handfuls in specific areas. And this I have to kind of like pick this out if I want an area or a vivarium to look especially nice. So that paired with, and then I have magnolia. These I have to scrub and boil because there's a lot of um, fungus on them. But you could see the colors of the magnolia. I mean, you throw that in the mix. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Versus, like, that doesn't look as nice. So, um, yeah, and this also functions better. It won't, uh, la it'll last much longer before it breaks down. Um, it, see how airy and spongy that is versus how flat? This is going to become sodden, waterlogged, start to break down very, very rapidly and not provide as much uh, surface area for microorganisms, which is not really ideal. You want a nice, because this will be very humid in the viv, in the vivarium, but it will remain very, very light. And even the frogs will, you'll see them hopping all in and around. So try to look for this type of stuff when you're collecting leaf litter.